All right, what up YouTube? It's Plock the Master Gamer here, and we're back at it with some Fable the Lost Chapters. Except in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to get Cheat Engine set up for Fable the Lost Chapters. I don't normally advocate cheating, I mean, even though, like, you know, I cheat in a lot of games and stuff, but it's normally just for, like, clowning around, you know, having fun purposes. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't normally advocate cheating in games, especially not a game like Fable, where, you know, there's all sorts of, you know, glitches and exploits that'll help you out along the way. You don't even really need Cheat Engine for a game like Fable, in my opinion. Uh, but I did get some comments, or at least one comment, inquiring uh, how I how I got you know Cheat Engine working on Fable, you know what what you need to do to get it hooked up and whatnot. So I decided I'd make it into a video for you. Um, so yeah, here it is. Uh, now first things first. Uh, so you're gonna want to download Cheat Engine. Uh, you'll notice it by this little uh, logo here. So you just go to Google, search Cheat Engine. I have Cheat Engine 6.7. It shouldn't really matter which version you have. Uh, what you can do after downloading Cheat Engine is most games, they have, you know, tables, like cheat tables that people have already made for them. Uh, so if you just, like, you know, search the title of your game and then Cheat Engine Cheat Table, you'll usually find a cheat table for it that's made already. Uh, so what I did was I went in and I uh, searched Fable of the Lost Chapters, cheat engine table and I ended up finding this one. I'm not going to use that for this video because you know the purpose of this is to show you how to find the values on your own um, but I thought I'd mention that you can just google it and you'll find you know a cheat table with all the cheats and stuff there for you. First things first though what you're going to want to do uh, obviously you're going to go to the process list here this little search button and you're going to bring up the lost chapters fable the lost chapters or you know any game that you're going to be using cheat engine for um, in this case, it's Fable. And one other thing I want to mention, too, is you're going to want to make sure that the hex value is not checked. Um, because, you know, if we're dealing with values like, you know, 250, you convert that to a hex value, becomes that. And, you know, that's that's no fun. So just to keep it simple, we're going to be using real numbers here. Um, just because I figure most of you guys probably don't know what hex values are. I sure as hell don't. This is uh, where you're going to be putting in values. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to be using experience just because that's what I did in the last video. Um, it's funny, I actually ended up cutting out the portion of the video where I showed how to get the cheats and cheat engine working for Fable. Um, I ended up cutting those parts of the video out of my experience video. And yet here I am remaking it for this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number here. Now you would you would take, you know, any number, whether it's, you know, your health or it's your your gold or your experience, whatever value you're trying to change, you're going to memorize that value 4951 because we're going to type that into the value list. So we're going to go back to cheat engine. We're going to type in that 4951 in the value entry here and we're going to hit first scan. Now, what you'll notice is that Experience is not the only value in Fable that holds, or there's not the only thing in Fable that holds the value of 4951. So what our job is, is to find which one of these 4951s is the correct one. This is where the second part comes in, where you're going to either spend experience or you're going to gain experience. So basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to change this value. You're trying to change the experience value or whatever value you are changing. You're going to want to change that so that it is different than the value that you just searched up. So it's basically to be able to differentiate it from the list of other 4951s, you're going to make it into a different number. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend some experience. Uh, we're going to spend it on physique, and that'll bring the experience value down to 4947. So now we're going to go back into Cheat Engine, and you'll see here one of the values changed to 4947. Um, but what else you can do is, you like, sometimes the list is super long, and it's, like, there's literally hundreds of values in the list. Um, so it'll take way too long to just look through it by hand. Um, and that actually happens in a lot of cases. I actually lucked out here and I got one where there's only like, you know, 20 or 30 different values and it's pretty easy to pick it out of the bunch, which one's the 4947. But what you can do is you can hit next scan and it'll take all of the values from the last scan and it'll apply the new value to those to those addresses there. Uh, so you can see here it picked out the address, you know, 0D whatever for 4947. So we know that this is the experience value because uh, its value changed when we changed the experience points in game. Uh, so that's how we know that it's the right one. So we're going to add selected address to the list. Now, when I was talking about the cheat table that you can download, basically when you download one of these cheat tables, uh, you know, somebody already went in and found all these addresses. So all you have to do is just go in and like double click the value and change it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to something completely different. Uh, just do six 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 and make it super demonic but you're gonna change that and you're gonna want to make sure that you check this little box here this is gonna make sure that your cheats active that it'll actually change the in-game value to the value that you've written here uh, one other thing too I did use speed I did use speed hack uh, in a couple of my videos and cheat engine actually makes this really simple you just click the enable speed hack you change your speed here and you hit apply 
Uh, I don't really need it for this video, so I'm not going to put it in there. The unrandomizer, don't really know what that does. It just takes uh, in-game events that are supposed to be randomized, like, you know, loot boxes and stuff, and it'll unrandomize it somehow. I'm not quite sure how it does that, so I'm not going to get too much into that. But anyways, we've changed the value, we've checked it off, so when we go back in-game, it should change in-game as well. So we're going to switch back over to the Fable, and you'll notice that it hasn't changed yet, but as soon as we X out of it, you'll see in the top left corner there, We've gotten a little bit of an experience increase there, haven't we? Uh, so now when we go in here, you'll see that we have 666999. And it should actually stay like that, even when you spend your experience. Um, does it though? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does, it does stay. Um, so yeah, you can you can spend it more than once, of course. I mean, you never pretty much never run out. Um, so if we go out and we go back in, it should go back to 666999. So it'll always go back to whatever value you set it to. Uh, so it, w doing this, you're able to accomplish, you know, infinite, infinite experience, infinite gold, infinite whatever you feel like changing in terms of values in Fable. Uh, you can see here, I already changed my money value. I forget when exactly I did that. Um, oh no, that was actually part of the cheat table I used on this uh, particular save game. It had the uh, the address value for the gold in there, which is why that's like that. Um, but yeah, if we go in and we buy some stuff, it should, you know. Since we don't have it active, it should keep those values and not change beyond that, right? So yeah, see how it didn't go back to 9999999? That's because uh, the cheat that was active when I saved the game is no longer active, so it no longer uh, retreats back to that 99999 value. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it in terms of using Cheat Engine and Fable. Anything that has a monetary value code-wise can be changed via Cheat Engine. It can be kind of a pain in the ass to find all the things that you're wanting to change, which is why I do recommend going to Google and just searching for, you know, cheat tables. Especially some of these games have been around for, you know, 10, almost 20 years. So, I mean, quite a few people have made cheat tables for these. There's definitely not a lack of cheat tables out there. They are plentiful. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it useful, you know, learned something, um, especially those of you that were wondering about it. Um, but yeah, this this doesn't only apply to Fable. Of course, it'll apply to any, any game, really. Just change any values on the fly. Uh, but yeah, if you liked it, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more of this content or any other gaming content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.